All right, I want to show you something here on the fence line that I'm looking at today. About four weeks ago, maybe even four and a half weeks ago, I started pulling these things out from under and I started digging out all of this stuff that's growing up. Now, I've been resisting the urge, and my cat is always here, always. Uh, I've been resisting the urge of spraying non selective herbicide in this area to kill everything off because literally we grow vegetables here and I just don't really want to spray glyphosate or anything like it when I don't need to. So anyway, I started pulling these things up and I took my shovel, trenching down, trying to cut everything out. Um, and I had to move some boulders, so I'm gonna have to move them back. The plan was I was gonna backfill this with some extra dirt, kind of sand stuff, and hopefully everything wouldn't start growing back. But look at this, already, about three, four weeks, even with off and on temperatures, uh, dipping below freezing. We've got new growth here. I already pulled a couple of these out before I decided to grab the camera. Look at that, one's starting to grow again. Uh, down here, even though I've dug down, what is that, like four inches or so, I've gone down, things are still rooted down there and they're growing back. So, what that tells me is that if I pull all of these out and do the same thing the whole way, it's going to take an enormous amount of time. And it's still going to start growing back. Not to mention the fact that I've got little pieces of it already infiltrating the edges of my lawn. So, this is what I'm planning on doing. As you see here, I pulled these bricks out. You can see the root systems. They go down, they go under the brick, and they're crossing over. That's basically how they're getting over here. They're crossing over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover everything here on the edge with plastic or um, cardboard. And I'm going to be very, very precise with it, going all the way up the fence line. Because I don't want to spray glyphosate here. I don't want to kill my good grass. I want to kill this. And here's my theory. If I spray glyphosate on this stuff here, it will travel into the root systems over to this stuff. And some of this hopefully will die. I don't know how much of it will die, but it's a theory that I have because it's all connected. This stuff wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this stuff right over here. So if I kill this at the root, it should penetrate all the way over to this stuff, hopefully. Uh, I haven't wanted to glyphosate it. Oh, I'm hitting the tree. Oh, watch out. Uh, I haven't wanted to glyphosate it, but I just think it's, it's necessary. This stuff has gotten so bad, I can't even hack that down with a regular weed eater on the other side. It's just too thick. Uh, now... This, come on cat, out of the way buddy. So this stuff right here, some of this grass is in here, especially as we go that way, is actually uh, this grass, the Kentucky, uh, Kentucky bluegrass that has spread over there. So I'm hopeful that as I spray that, it's not gonna kill everything on this side very much, but it might, it might kill some of it. And uh, I'll have to deal with that at a later date. Uh, if that happens but that's what i've decided i've decided to do it uh, if anyone has any other ideas in the comments let me know but uh, i don't think that there is truly a better idea so i'll leave you with that i might use a little bit of this footage and film me doing it for uh, the main channel at some point uh, but you're getting a sneak peek. You're one of the few here on Turpicanic Vlogs, so thanks a lot.